Silver Quicken is different from regular school in a number of ways. Silver Quicken is built to be fun from the get-go. We have lots of really interesting, challenging activities that draw kids in. So we have great puzzles, we have great stories, we have wonderful games that then kids want to win. They want to solve the puzzle. They want to, they want to find out what happens in the story and that might take solving a puzzle. In Solvers Club, um, you get to solve lots of fun problems that are like of magical things that aren't like possible. I really like the cesarean ciphers. Yeah, tell me more. It's basically cool because you just get to like figure out and then you get to have to decode a code and see what matches up. It's fun, and if it's fun for them, it's fun for me too, and I think everybody could use a little more joy. It's super fun, and it's just like one of the funnest things I did. And then once you've baked in fun, then there can be real challenge, real rigor. It was an interesting opportunity to see what happens when you give kids something weird and fun and even if they had different academic backgrounds it had that low floor and high ceiling for kids to really be able to approach the task um, with curiosity and wondering and persevere with the support of others and sometimes notice things that you know other kids at the table didn't see and tap into that you have to stretch your brain sometimes to where you aren't comfortable. Sometimes in math, like I don't know a problem and I don't really feel comfortable doing it. But then um, from Solvers Club, I just keep doing it and till I get it right. I really like the cipher wheel puzzles, but I also like um, some of the harder ones. Like the light bulb one was fun, but it was really hard. What I love about the programming is that the kids find it so intrinsically motivating. They want to find out what happens next. They want to persist on the task. Some of my brightest kids this year really struggled with how complex some of the content was, particularly in like the first two sessions. But by like the 10 minute mark, their face is lighting up. It's so important to Silver Quicken that kids work together and do these hard things together. I feel like it's hay. I, I, like like I found something. I found something. That collaborative aspect is baked in. In fact, the story is built around the story of 10 kids drawn from all across the United States to be a team. The quests are collective, the puzzles, even as kids work individually, they're, they're designed to be a shared experience and a shared solve. With Solvers Club, it's not a competition. You like just, you're all one big team trying to figure out what in the world this is. They're building each other up and we've actually got time built in to reflect on how it felt to do something really hard. Uh, and, okay, now we're just having a When you solve puzzles with other people, you can like see what they're thinking and maybe change your thinking. So the next time you solve a puzzle, you'll have more ideas. I learned how to not know what you're doing and not pretend you do. Like, you can just be like, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. And by having that joyful practice to do with other kids where it's a safe learning space to take some, some real risks um, was really powerful for them. In just a few sessions, started to see them changing the way they talked about working on a problem or changing the way they talked about um, themselves when it came to how they think. Everything really connects. Maybe like in math, you'll have like something like a puzzle that you have to solve and it'll really help you. It takes practice for them to realize that I need to be considering those multiple perspectives. I need to look at this in a different way. You should always keep an open mind and um, piggyback on other people's ideas. I've never had anything that I really thought moved kids as people in such a short span of time.
So in a six week program, like I saw some really transformative changes for some of my brightest kids, but who also really struggle with some aspects of their giftedness. You get to play like games, but it still counts as like a school activity. It's kind of like PE where it's recess, but it's technically school.